Hi, my name is Nitai Duranja. I'm the co-founder of Education for Life in the United States. And I've been asked to give you a little bit of a history, a background of how things got started here. So I thought I would read a little paragraph that was written over 100 years ago by the person that started this whole approach to education back in India in 1916. His name is Paramahansa Yogananda. He described the beginning of that school in this book, Autobiography of a Yogi. So Yogananda came to the United States in 1920. He wanted to share this approach to education that he saw so desperately needed all around the world. He wrote this for Americans. He said, educational authorities deem it impossible to teach spiritual principles in public schools because they confuse them with a variety of conflicting forms of religious faith. But if they concentrate on the universal principles of peace, love, service, tolerance, and faith that govern the spiritual life and devise methods of practically growing such seeds in the fertile soil of the child's mind, then the imaginary difficulty is dissolved. It is the greatest mistake to ignore this problem just because it's seemingly difficult. So that was a strong statement 100 years ago, and still it's needed so much in our world today. For the past 50 years, I've had the blessing to be able to work on how to make this approach to education manifest. How do you take these basic principles of life, these qualities of care and generosity, courage, etc., how do you bring them into a classroom setting and share them with children without getting caught up in any dogmas, any of the things that people are afraid of? Education for Life has been doing this now for five decades, and we look forward to continuing it in the future.